friends, I'm going to try and show you how to make your own compass uh, using the same ingredients that are detailed by Captain Ahab in Moby Dick. Really, really common elements. Um, one is a cork, and then uh, probably the hardest part of this project is you need a slice of the cork. Um, or at least I find it tends to work best that way. So um, ask somebody strong and preferably with a carving license, uh, but skilled with a knife to slice a piece of actual cork. Um, you also need a magnet, like a refrigerator magnet. Um, a needle, I didn't have a sewing needle available um, right away, but I did have a T-pin and that can work really well or a, straight, a stick pin or, or push pin, um, but long and steel is what you're going for at least an inch, inch and a half uh, in length. And then a Sharpie can come in handy as well. You also need a, a shallow bowl or pan and some water. All right, so here are the ingredients, right? Let's see if those are all showing up on, there we go, yeah. Um, very first step um, is use caution because uh, needles can be sharp for sure. There it is. Um, I'm gonna take a magnet, and it doesn't matter which end I use on the magnet as long as I stay consistent and use the same end. Um, I'm gonna take my needle, and I'm gonna actually hold it on the point end, and I'm gonna stroke the needle. Now, I'm not going back and forth, mind you. I'm setting the magnet down, and then sliding along the length of it. Here, 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 just like it's an airplane taking off of an aircraft carrier or a runway, right? Zoom, zoom, zoom. I like to do 10 of these. It, you know, it'll work with just a couple strokes, but I figure why not have fun transferring some energy. All right, so there's my magnet, just a refrigerator magnet. I've got my pin or my needle. I'm going to take one of these discs and I'm going to try and punch through the cork. So obviously you need to be rather careful here and make sure that you don't accidentally end up with the needle coming out and poking you because you never know when it's going to exit halfway through, right? Instead of going out the edge like you might like. But this gets the job done. I've got a little piece of float and I've got a needle. Now I'm going to take the Sharpie and I'm just going to make a mark so it's really easy to see which way this is pointing. All right, now for our purposes, I made a sheet of paper that says True North and then it includes the angle known officially as magnetic declination, but um, in other words, magnetic north versus the map north. All right, I'm going to play, I'm going to put that under my shallow bowl Here's my shallow bowl, it's a Pyrex pan, like a pie pan. And I'm gonna orient the paper so that it's pointing true north, which is unfortunate for my filming angle because I think it's gonna end up looking upside down to you guys when I tilt the camera. Um, but that's okay. So I've got this, I've got my pan, I make sure there's some water in it. So there we go. All right, enough water that um, the weight of the needle plus the cork uh, that there's no chance it's gonna drag. Um, so there's my little unit. And I'm gonna set that in the water and give it a spin. Here we go, spin it like a top. And I'm gonna tilt our camera over so you can take a look and watch which way the point of the needle ends up going. Boy. That looks about as nicely aligned with magnetic north as I could hope for. Now, of course, that could be absolute chance, right? It could be that I didn't actually make a magnet and it just happened to land. So I'm gonna give it another spin, a really, like, make it dizzy kind of spin. Great, and watch it again. See where it ends up pointing. Go. I've got you in the picture now. 
Now it's touching the side, but as it happens, look at that angle. The needle, once again, is pointing at 15 degrees off of true north. Um, let me try a different thing. I'm going to try pointing the needle specifically south. Let's start with it pointing south. There we go. And it is automatically correcting itself. And indeed, we've had three tries in a row, and once again, our needle is settling on magnetic north. We have, in fact, just made our own compass in just five minutes. So there you go, friends. That's how you can make your own compass out of a needle, a cork, and some water.